Hey, watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And it's days like this where I absolutely love my job. I love my job most of the days uh, that I'm here, but new releases and getting to see a new product is always fun for me. I have three of the new, just announced, Breitling Super Ocean models in my hands here. I have a 44 millimeter green, I have a 42 millimeter black, and a 42 millimeter blue. And I think they look really, really good. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a quick review on just the new releases. And then shortly here later today, I'm going to post a review comparing it to the older models that are going to be discontinued. So if you like the older models, um, certainly you wanna try to find those because I'm sure they will dry up uh, as the year goes on here. So again, I have a 44 millimeter green in my left the black and the blue there are other models these are just the three that we got today initially so there will be 36 millimeter models i've seen photos those look fantastic i think an orange a uh, almost like a teal blue um and then you have the 42s the 44s i believe there's going to be 46s but not 48s i haven't heard definitively on that yet so without further ado let's talk about the sizing of these uh, i'm not going to go over the differences in this video that'll be the next video but obviously you can tell um, just the proportions are, are a little different. You have a slimmer crown protector there, uh, slimmer lug to lug. So again, the dimensions on the 42, it's a true 42 millimeters. I measured it twice. I measured it from the two to eight straight across the case at exactly 42 millimeters. And I also measured it across the bezel from uh, three to nine at exactly 42. So both measurements are exactly 42 millimeters. We have a 12.6 millimeter case height and that applies to the 44 as well i'll go over the dimensions on that one next 47.5 from lug tip to lug tip so it's shorter lug to lug at 47.5 millimeters we do have a 22 millimeter lug width on the 42 that tapers down to 18 at the uh, at the last link and then back out to 21 millimeters at the newly designed deployment style clasp here. We have 300 meters of water resistance on both the 42 and the 44. So that is a, is a, is a change over the old model. Again, that I'll go over all those differences uh, in that video, but um, 300 meters in the 42 and the 44. I think, I mean, not only do I like the new clasp here, I think aesthetically it looks great, but the functionality of the micro, I think they absolutely nailed it. Um, so it's just a push right here in an easy slide, uh, very similar to some other brands. And I think it just, it's very easy to manipulate. Um, really just a nice micro adjustment on that clasp. You can see we do have some polished center links. We do have a solid stainless steel case back, signed, screw down crown and again because of the way the crown protector uh, again when i do the comparison video it, 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 the, the crown was, i just noticed the crown was easier to to manipulate to get in and out you have a ceramic bezel that i think sounds really great very smooth the, i mean really not much back play there i don't know i really like the bezel Again, Breitling does fantastic AR work on their crystals. Just a slimmer, more profile, a slimmer, more, um, again, I say slimmer. Case thickness is slimmer. Lug to lug is shorter. Overall, I just think it looks very good. So again, that's the black 42. Here's the white and blue 42. I like the, the yellow super ocean there with the second hand. And I didn't even mention, shame on me, this model is referencing from what I understand at this point, the, I want to say 1965, don't hold me to that date, the Breitling's catalog had a slow motion uh, reference uh, diver, and these are a throwback to it. Uh, again, I have not had a training on these yet, so I'm really just going off of, of kind of the little bit I've heard and seen so far. And uh, as far as the movement, I don't know if we're using the uh, the B20 in these or if we're using uh, the same movement in the uh, the prior generation Super Ocean. I don't have any information on that. When I get that, I will post a, a comment um, and update you on that. Hopefully later today, I, I hear that um, when I when these get released. 
and the information becomes public. So the 44 millimeter uh, model here is the same 12.6 thick. So again, 300 meter on the 44. So case thickness uh, is the same, which is not a surprise. Lug to lug on this one is 50.2 millimeters. The same 22 millimeter lug width, tapering down to 18 uh, at the that last here part of the rubber strap. Last. And then the clasp. I actually measured the clasp at 21.5. So it was a half millimeter uh, thicker than what the uh, 22 millimeter model was. So again, solid stainless steel case back, ceramic bezel insert. And again, I just, I really think these sound great. They feel great. Really like the bezel action. So I'll throw these all on wrist real quick. I'm already running a little bit longer than I normally try to do on these videos, but new releases, why not? Again, the 44 millimeter on my six and three quarter inch wrist. I personally appreciate the shorter lug the lug on both models. Again, you know, some people are gonna say, oh, it's not as thick as the prior models uh, at 500 or a thousand meters, but I think wearability, it's just a slimmer profile. I don't know too many of us desk divers that are wearing these that are, that are gonna need the extra water resistance. I think 300 meters is fine. I'm perfectly happy with a, a thinner watch. And overall, I just, I like the look of them. I like the clean aesthetic. Uh, if you like your date window, these probably aren't gonna be up your alley, but again, I like the simplicity. I'm, I'm a fan. I, I definitely enjoy these. Historically, the, the prior generation 42, I, I thought was a tad big for my own personal preference. These, I think, are, are just wear really well. And you know I like my, my white and blue, so this one to me is uh, is my favorite. But it just it feels good on wrist, nice and thin. So give me a quick loom shot, and we'll wrap this one up. As we get the uh, additional models in stock, I will certainly be reviewing those over the, uh, the coming week. I will probably do a, a review comparing these to the Omega, to the Tudor. We'll compare these uh, to all the other the brands that we carry here over the next couple of weeks. But let's take a look at the loom on these. Looks pretty good. So as always, Thanks for viewing. Greatly appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. You can email me, brad, at brentlmiller.com. Let me know what you think of these new Super Ocean models. I'll be uh, anxious, anxious to hear and uh, see what you guys think of these as well. See you in the next video.